Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Angella and in this video I'd like to talk to you about how to download blob files from the, the Azure uh, cloud to your file system using C Sharp. So here I have um, the Azure portal opened. I have an Azure via C Sharp uh, storage account. As you can see, if I click on blobs, we have already a container called my container that contains a, a bunch of blobs into uh, a hierarchical structure. <coughs> A bunch of documents and a bunch of images. What I want to do, I want to write some code that downloads all of those blobs into my file system. So let's go to Wizard Studio. Here I have a console application already set it up with uh, uh, some code. And this code basically creates a storage account, providing the storage account name and storage account key that you can find from the Azure portal. Then create an Azure blob client and then get a reference to the container, my container that I've just shown you. So now let's write a code that allows to download all the blobs from the container. So the first things I need to do, I need to basically uh, get the list of all the blobs. So you can use the method list blobs to do that. Okay. So now let's create a method download blobs and provide the blobs that I just passed. So what I want to do, I want to <coughs> I want to iterate through all the blobs and download them. So what I need to do, I need to just do a for each blob. Um, and so now the here is interesting because the library basically, uh, despite the blobs only are kind of flat files, there is no cost of directory uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the blob. Um, the library provides the abstraction of the directory. So that's called cloud blob directory. So we need to check if the blob is a file or a directory. And also we change the code accordingly. So let's do that. So if the blob uh, is a cloud block blob, uh, block blob, we can use pattern match here to, to simplify the code. What I can do is I can use the method dot download uh, to file. There are other methods, of course, but I want to download that to the file. And I can use the blob, um, the block blob name to actually download the file. I need to specify the mode create, so I want to always download the file and overwrite it. Um, and I can actually print uh, to the console the actual block blob name just for for some uh, login purposes, okay? So, uh, else, if the blob instead is a directory, cloud blob directory, so in this case, we need to recursively iterate. But before doing that, we need to create a directory, okay? So in order to do that, I can use the directory dot create directory, and I pass the Prefix. So the prefix is actually the, the directory name. Create directory and I can pass the prefix. Uh, directory dot fix. And last but not least, I need to download all the blobs and I need to use the method of the directory that has given me all the blobs in that, in that directory. So this code is pretty much similar to what you would do on the file system. So, um, and this should actually work. Let me run it and see. So you can see that on my file system, I have the C Azure VSC Sharp uh, folder that for the moment is empty. When I run it, you can see that we create a directory and we download all the various uh, blobs. And if I go to the file system, you can find that all the files has been actually downloaded, including the images. And this is it. This is basically how you can download blobs from the Azure storage uh, into your file system using C Sharp. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please um, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you soon.